differences between VAR and VECM. VAR versus VECM. VAR or vector autoregressive models are used to model the dynamic interrelationships among multiple time series variables. Here, each variable is regressed on its own lagged values as well as lagged values of other variables in the system. VAR models do not consider long-term equilibrium relationships among variables. Whereas, VECM, or Vector Error Correction Model Estimation requires the determination of lag length, trend specification and the number of co-integrating relationships using Johansson's test. The purpose of VAR model is to capture the relationship between multiple quantities as they change over time. Whereas, the purpose of VECM model is establishes a short-term relationship between the stock prices, while correcting with the deviation from the long-term co-movement of prices. VAR models are widely used in time series research to examine the dynamic relationships that exist between variables that interact with one another. Whereas, VECM Model is used to analyze co-integrated variables or co-integrating relationships. VAR model helps in time series research by allowing one to inspect the dynamic relationships between the variable interacting with each other. This model is of three types, structural, recursive, and reduced form. Whereas, VECM, Models can help us to better understand the nature of any non-stationarity among the different component series and can also improve longer-term forecasting compared to an unconstrained model. VAR models are important because it's widely used in time series research to examine the dynamic relationships that exist between variables that interact with one another. In addition, they are also important forecasting tools that are used by most macroeconomic or policymaking institutions. Whereas, VECM model are important because it widely used because it allows us to estimate short-run as well as long-run coefficients. Using VECM estimation, we can analyze long-run equilibrium relationships among variables and short-run deviations from that equilibrium. Moreover, the adjustment coefficients show us how the short-run deviations or disequilibrium are corrected. VAR models are suitable for short-term dynamics, whereas VECM models are suitable for long-term equilibrium relationships. The general equations of VAR model and VECM are given for comparison to get idea how both method can work from scratch. The results of VAR model and VECM when entered data from MS, Excel to eViews or Stata software by giving proper steps or commands by getting above results. This example of VAR model and VECM are given for idea for beginners. There are three assumptions of VAR models such as the error terms conditional mean is zero, the possibility of large outliers is low and variables within such a model are stationary. Whereas, select VAR when dealing with stationary variables and short-term dynamic relationships. Select VECM when dealing with non-stationary variables and the presence of co-integration relationships. Selecting between VAR and VECM hinges on data stationarity and co-integration. In short, VAR or vector autoregressive model refers to a type of stochastic model that relates a variable's current observations with the past observations of itself and other variables within the system. It captures the interdependencies and evolution between different time series. Model is used in econometric and finance as it offers a framework for fulfilling crucial modeling objectives, including forecasting, structural inference, policy analysis, and data description. Whereas, VECM 
are econometric models used in time series analysis and its estimation requires the determination of lag length, trend specification and the number of co-integrating relationships using Johansson's test. VECM models to account for long-term equilibrium relationships among variables. It is suitable when variables in system are co-integrated, meaning they share a long-term relationship despite short-term fluctuations. VECM includes an error correction term that captures the adjustment process of the variables back to their long-run equilibrium after a shock or deviation. Kindly subscribe my YouTube channel Thesis Helper. Thanks for watching.